All right, in this video, we're going to look at some special characters. So what I want to do, let's go down to the bottom of our page, right before the body, before the end of the body. I am going to put in here, uh, let's do, do an H6. That's a very small heading. And at the very bottom of my page, I'm going to put a copyright. So down here, I'm going to put copyright. Two thousand twenty three. Yeah, I got your save it. Come back over here. It's H six, so it's very small, but it's a little bit bolded. Uh, so that's H six copyright two thousand twenty three Matt Geiger. I want to make this look nicer than that, so I am going to put in here and copy semicolon. Now you notice I got highlighted blue because it's a special character called a character entity. Special characters are called character entities. Um, this one is the abbreviation to get a copyright symbol. So I'm going to save that. Refresh it. Now you can see down here at the very bottom of my page, blow it up here so it's easier to see. You can see I have the copyright symbol at the bottom of my page now. We'll see with a circle around it. All right, let's take a look at some other character, other HTML entities we can use, um, some useful ones. And NBSP is a non-breaking space. Remember we said we couldn't put multiple spaces in something? If we want to do multiple spaces, we can actually stick this code in multiple times. So if I want three spaces between my first and last name, do this. I want three spaces in here. I could put non-breaking space in here three times. Now, instead of ignoring the extra spaces, it forces them to be there. So that's called a non-breaking space. Character entities in HTML. Um, if we want a less than or greater than sign in our code, that could be uh, in our to display on our website. Uh, that could be problematic, given that less than and greater than signs designate tags. So if we actually want them to appear on our website, uh, we can use and LT for less than and GT for greater than. Don't forget they all have semicolons at the end of them. Each one of these has a name. So there's the cent sign, the pound sign, the yen sign, the euro sign. We, we just did a copy. They also have an entity number. They all have a code that goes with them. So for the copyright, I could also use and pound 169. Uh, so it's a hashtag followed by a three digit number most of the time or a two digit number or a four digit number in that case right there for the Euro. Um, so we do have the ability to get these special characters on our page, encoding them with their name or their entity number.